You know, a wise man once said, I was looking for love in all the wrong places. You know, the FBI is saying that too, especially ahead of Valentine's Day. The FBI says that you need to watch out for romance scams if you're on the, the lookout for your next love. Jonathan Palasik is here to explain. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Tatum. Yeah, tonight we're asking, can you feel the love tonight? For a lot of people, that answer is yes, but for romance scammers, probably not. Now, these are people that are going online and trying to find vulnerable, pe vulnerable people looking for love, all while having a hidden agenda. Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, eHarmony, Match.com are just some of the dating apps that people use to find love. A lot of individuals were trying to find that perfect person by going to online dating sites, online dating apps, um, certain chats and social media, um, webs, very popular social media websites. But with all of that, you need to watch out for scammers who aren't looking for love, but rather your hard-earned money. Unfortunately, we've seen a lot of innocent victims being caught up in money laundering schemes because now these individuals want you to push money um, that they have to you, and then they want you to send it to other bank accounts. So you're, in essence, a money launderer being caught up. These scammers can target anyone you, me, it doesn't matter, but some may be more vulnerable than others. They're targeting women over 40 years old from what we've seen that have recently been through a divorce or they're widowed or disabled or have some other vulnerabilities in their life that they feel that they can uh, easily exploit. But what are some of those red flags? How do you know if it's love or something else? Think of a, a, rela a normal relationship, like how that should progress. You should be meeting this individual in person. Um, you should have your friends and family involved. If someone's asking you not to get your friends and family involved, that's a red flag. And if you don't think it can happen to you, think again. We're seeing it here in West Texas. In 2021, El Pasoans in the West Texas area, we lost $1.4 million for romance scams. And so far for the month of January, um, there's been four reports, so we just keep in mind that's been a month. There's been four reports and we've lost over $9,000. Now that's not a small amount. Now the FBI went on to say that if you suspect that if one of your loved ones may be involved in a romance scam, take it easy on them because they say you don't want to push them further. Be supportive, ask the right questions, and if necessary, the FBI can get involved to explain what's going on and prevent your loved one from losing money or perhaps even prevent them from being involved in money laundering schemes. You can either call the El Paso office at 915-832-5000 or the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center if you feel like you've become the victim of a romance scam. Tatum.